Hey people, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to learn keyboard events and event modifiers. In previous lecture, we have seen how Vue.js handles events. So first, let's start with event modifiers. So in our JS fiddle, let's first go over view. In here, we have AL, which is targeted to app. Then we have data, which have is safe, which is set to true. In method, we have single method, which is demo, which just alert. Now in our HTML, I have this D with the ID of app, then button with on click event listener, which toggles the value of is safe. And right after button, we just output that value. And below that, we have this link, which targets to google.com, which also have event listener, which is this demo method, which have just alert. So let's try it once. Okay, so our code is working fine. Now, let's go over event modifiers. You previously worked with JS, so you probably know what is event modifiers, right? Like prevent default, stop propagation and all that. So how Vue.js can help us with this? Let's say instead of toggling this is safe value to true or false, instead I want to change it once. So for this kind of situations, Vue.js have event modifiers and how we implement that? Let's check out. So on our click event, I will use dot for event modifier and name of event modifier which is which is once. So this will add event listener click and once we click on that, it will remove that event handler. Let's test it. Now our value is changed and now if I click on this again, there's no click event because of this event modifier once. Now let's see another event modifier. In this case, we will have link which targets to google.com in another tab. So what I want to do is, so when I click here, I will get this alert. And if I press OK, I will be in new tab with the URL of Google. But I don't want that. Instead, I just want to execute this method. For this, we can use dot .prevent. Now let's run this. And now if I click here, clicked and nothing happens because of that prevent modifiers. Now let's go over key modifiers. Okay, so now we have this input with vmodel equals to message and our message is empty. Now just like click, we also have key up event. So now what this event will do, whenever I press key, this will console log our message. So let's try this. So as you can see, we made a mistake because of that codes and now as you can see in our console, we have this key up event working perfectly. As I press something in this, our message is logged in our console. Just like other events, you can also attach event modifier to these events. Let's say instead of logging every character, I just want to log on enter. For this, we have enter modifier. Now let's run it. Let's clear our console. And now when I hit enter, our message get logged. So this is how keyboard events and event modifier works in Vue.js. See you in next.